Spring Garden Lane is uh, one of the uh, locations uh, reported by the community to missing links for its narrow pavements. And you can see here that uh, the, the public, the community that walks here, are in constant battle with the vehicles that come by. The pavements are narrow, there are a lot of cars coming through, and it's obviously that the road has not been designed for the demand, for the pedestrian demand, and that we can improve the pavements by making them wider and stop the on-street on parking. You see that they've actually widened the pavement here for a short section, probably because of the refuse collection point to stop people parking here um, so that the truck can get in. But they, they could do this for the entire road, right. but then they will have to cut back on the street side parking. Mm -hmm. um, and these people may complain to the district council if, when they come up with that plan. So, but I think transport departments should try because obviously everybody is forced into the road here. You know, see a lot of people get off and start walking on the streets. Mm -hmm. We're on Kennedy Road and this is one of the locations reported to missing links. You can see behind me that the footpath disappears. Um, people walk here to go from the Hopewell Center side to Hong Kong Park. Uh, there's a playground in Hong Kong Park. People come here with... Um, as, I can, as you can see, people walk here and they're forced onto the road because the footpath disappears. So the government will have to fix this by um, repairing the slope and widening the footpath on the slope sides. You, know, you, you can see there is, it's, it's very dangerous to, uh, to walk here because you have to get onto the road. CDD, CD geotechnical engineers have one responsibility, make sure there are no landslips. Uh, Transport department has a responsibility to make sure that the cars move. Between the two, nobody takes responsibility for making sure we get a good pavement. We're at Hongning Street in Kuntong, and this is a, a really popular jaywalking spot. People cross here despite the fact that there is no uh, uh, pedestrian, official pedestrian crossing, because otherwise they'll have to walk around the entire area, around all the railings. So, and it's, uh, this can be fixed easily. Uh, we can put in here a pedestrian crossing and make sure people can cross safely. Well, I guess it's a natural thing for the human being, try to minimize the energy try to go point to point as direct as possible um, to walk around the railings to get to uh, the other side. Um, how, how long would it be? Two minutes instead of uh, you know, 20 seconds. So people would prefer to take this crossing. And it's popular. There is a traffic light for the cars, but there is no facility for the pedestrians to cross. <laughs> Thank you.